And that's the way that sin always works. It starts off small. It starts off with the eyes and with the mind. And then it spreads. See, people don't, don't automatically start off doing like fornication. You don't just start off just, you just run into someone and then boom, you're, you're going to bed together. It starts off more with thinking about other people, thinking about things, maybe looking at pornography, maybe looking at, at, at other people, thinking about someone else's wife, someone else's husband, thinking about some other person. Getting yourself into more situations around them. Then you start pushing a little bit further and you, you end up being alone with that. You know, two people maybe aren't married. They're going on dates. They like each other. And then they start opening up the door more and more for sin. <coughs> they start maybe touching each other a little bit more. Giving bigger hugs or starting to kiss or whatever, you know. Start just pushing the envelope more and more and then find themselves alone together and then all of a sudden, fornication happens. But see, it's not all of a sudden. It's a progression. It's things that happen. It's things that they, they start allowing more and more to, to, to produce that sin. And we need to take heed. We need to take heed lest you fall.